Karen Burchill here. I am getting ready to show a flip through of my journaling by fives with a buddy. My buddy was Yvonne Gaybauer and we went back and forth with our journals in May and June and um, I just got to work once I was done, came back after holidays in July and August to finish it out. And I finished today, so I'm going to do a flip through. I have posted them, the befores and afters, after step five and, and free play. And um, just wanted to do a quick sh show. Um, with this, these pages this time of this go around I decided to pick a not put any words on it when um, doing it that was something Yvonne and I had agreed agreed on and then I just I went to Pinterest and I checked quotes on paintbrushes and different kind of things and some of them I had actually in my Pinterest board already under inspirational things so this was the first one and it had the paintbrush on it and it was a this was a totally different color I think it was just off-white and you can see the text underneath it and I colored it with my ink tense blocks and I shaded it and I think you know my skill level at shading and um, highlighting had really improved from my first go around um, this to me looks like a, a snapshot. You really can't tell that this was collaged on. This would looks like there was a definite plan from beginning to end. Um, Attitude is the mind's paintbrush. It can color any situation. So that's my motivational thing. Um, the next one, this was a very, very purple page. Uh, and Yvonne had given me this lovely purple flower here and I didn't really have an idea and then I was looking through some magazines and I found this girl and she just seemed to fit perfectly on this page and I, it took me a long time to figure out um, what to do here and it says she just looks like she has definitive attitude and it says I'm walking my own path your approval is not needed. You know, we need to do what is good for us. Sometimes people don't understand what we're doing. Our journaling seems like a waste of time, a waste of money. Um, we don't need their approval. So this one I really, I had printed off, used, I've downloaded free fonts on, on my Word program and use them. Usually I go over it and um, make it a little bolder. This time I went over with uh, black acrylic paint and then I've added some doodling around the border, on her dress, on the letters, just to make it stand out. So I'm really happy with this page. This was a completely redone page. It was Margaritaville beforehand. And because Yvonne ran into some difficulties with her gel medium, it part of it had ripped up. and it was very difficult to utilize the way it was. So what I ended up doing is I said, okay, Margaritaville, I'm going to take the theme and I'm going to go with it. And I had found this tropical setting here. So I fussy cut around the palm trees and the hammock and the water. So this right here and then around there was actually from a magazine. What I did then is I went through my stash and I picked out and I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's paper towel and tissue paper and je deli paper and some jelly prints, odds and ends that I have. And I just collage the blue, blue, green all the way down to here. Then on the bottom, I got an old music sheet and I put that on and I used my Distress ink pad and I blended the colors. I also blended with my blues here. I found the letters in the um, in a magazine and I used a stylus that has a wider tip and a narrower tip 
to dip into acrylic paint and add the dots on there in the teal. It just kind of makes it all go together. I absolutely love this page and this technique of collaging the background for a picture is something that I want. I'm anxious to try again. This one, I learned that even if you have a picture in the middle, you don't necessarily have to take it. And there were some zebras in the middle, and I gessoed over it and reapplied my Intense Blocks, which is what I had. I tried to duplicate the colors and then use my zebra stencil and put in the same. What you see depends mainly on what you look for. And then it says look for zebras. And zebras in the medical world are the unexplained and the very, very rare things. And I just want a message of, you know, look for those rare things, those special moments, and appreciate them. This one says, if you're feeling blue, try painting yourself another color. This one was full of color. The background was dark blues and reds, and Yvonne had put in lots of different wonderfully um, colored um, pieces from magazines and jelly prints. But there really wasn't a focal point. And so I, I searched for a focal point, and I had found this chameleon on a paintbrush and I thought okay that goes with this saying that I have and then I changed the color of the chameleon with um, using my Neocolor 2's so I made it blue and then red because there was lots of red in there and um, blended it all together initially I had outlined this in white and that's what everyone saw when I posted on online. Um, I've gone back and I changed it and put the black there. I just did not like the white. So even when you're done, you're not. This one says, eat glitter for breakfast and shine on. The actual quote said, and shine all day. But I found these pink letters that said shine on in a magazine. And I thought, that's just perfect. I have to use that. So I used Tim Holtz's um, Sunray stencil and I stenciled so it looks like she's just shining every which way and I used my stylus again to dot this. Now what I discovered on this, and I'm going to put a vi make a video on this, when you put acrylic paint in and it's a considerable amount and you heat dry it it gets it's raised so it actually looks like light bulbs on there which was a wonderful you know happening on this page and something that I'm going to duplicate in other at other times so I mean it's actually raised you can't pick it up on the camera and stuff this one says believe in magic life is full of it and I kind of went with the magic thing because the page beside it also has a peacock and this said abracadabra so I wanted it to kind of blend um, it had the sunburst pattern up here so it was a perfect setting to have this blue and gold and blue and orange are very close to complementary colors on the on the color wheel and this was a napkin and this you know so it, this peacock and I just use my Lindy's paints and sprays and I added details with my pit pen and just made things pop here but I I love this one this one almost did itself this one and you can't really tell but initially in the brain part there were waves of an ocean very stormy ocean in there and then we had some collage pieces down here so I whited out I used some white gesso and I cleared up a lot of it that I didn't want that wasn't going to um, so I could focus get my focal point to pop out and I colored it a little bit darker so it looks like this is a, a neckline for her or it shadows her head 
and I picked the saying, the ocean stirs the heart, inspires the imagination, and brings eternal joy to the soul. And, you know, I tried to duplicate the pattern on both sides where I had whited it out. And, and it's amazing how with the ink tents blocks and the Lindy sprays and acrylic paint and, and reapplying the stamps, you can really get close. And, and I'm not sure if you can see the drippage here of the Lindy sprays. It's on both, both sides and it just picks up that glitter. It looks amazing. This one says, sometimes we need to change how we see the world. This was another, pretty much a remake. The bottom half, I just, I didn't have a saying that went with it. Something that I just fell in love with. And I had this girl um, that I'd cut out of a magazine, didn't use on Yvonne's page, and um, thought she would go upside down. And then I thought, yeah, sometimes we need to change how we look at the world kind of goes together. So I rebuilt the pattern with my Inktense blocks, added some stamps and stencils along there. I actually went online and found a picture of the earth and it was heart shaped and I applied my Lindy's sprays with a paintbrush to just kind of color that. And um, again the orange hair and the blue green you know complementary colors. Uh, and I love how the, the big font, so that's something that I started using more in my journal pages, is some bigger fonts, um, not being afraid to do that. I also went back and I colored over my Inktense blocks, um, colored over what was there just to blend it out properly. And I used my Distress Ink, my brown, around the edges. This was another one that seemed to do itself. It was, it was like one person had done it and there was a plan from beginning to end, which wasn't the case because it was going back between Yvonne and I, but it was very, very cohesive and um, it just felt, it just went together and has movement. Dance like no one is watching. And um, this is quite, quite lovely. I, I use some, um, Oh, what's it called? Iridescent Medium from Artist Loft. It's a Michaels brand. And my Lindy sprays, I outlined it with, with that. But this, you know, has so much texture and so much color and it really just came together so easily. This one, Think, Create, Do. And I think this could be a cover for my Journey by Fives if it wasn't hole punched on the wrong side. Um, it had this picture in the blues, and quite honestly, by the end of step five, I could have easily left this. All I did in the final stages was, because, again, there were hearts on here, cut out of dictionary paper, I wanted to duplicate that over here. So there was, again, some kind of cohesive thing between theme or color or something between these pages. Um, so I cut them apart and I linked them together and I sprayed them with three colors of Lindy spray so you can see the iridescent I love the Lindy sprays for that and I put them in there hot used my um, Stabilo all pencil around the hearts and use the stylus and black acrylic paint for on going on top of the letters, which were the same color as the background. I just shaded around the girl and left everything else. Didn't have to do anything else. Used my Inktense blocks um, around the edge, which I use a lot. With most of these pages, I don't think there's a page here that didn't get, get the Inktense blocks. And I actually used less materials on these pages than I did on these. Here I, I tended to do too much and I learned to edit myself in the process. Uh, this one was the last page that I did in the whole journal and it was very very busy. There was a lot going on and we had this middle part here with this girl and trains, planes, automobiles and traveling the world and it was all about travel. So I kind of wanted to go with that theme and but I couldn't 
seem to do it. So I gessoed out the background because it just seemed so busy on there. And then it allowed me to focus in on this and pick my theme. And the surprising thing here is when I was deciding what color to put in the background, I kind of had to go with the green because there was green in here. There was blue, yellow, and green. And I, if anybody knows me, I am not a green person. Green may show up with purple, green may be in teal, but that's about it. But I used greens and I used my Lindy sprays on that. This was a magazine cutout that I had that I thought would fit again because of the yellow. And this says focus on the journey, not the destination. And the journey with the this journaling by fives has been has been great. My skill level has increased, my ability to think creatively has increased. I'm using my my materials innovatively. I'm, you know, kind of stretching myself in that. So even though it's green, um, as Yvonne said, I didn't know you even owned green. So quite nice. And then I sprayed it with um, shimmer, gold shimmer in the end because it's nothing without the glitz. This one had this beautiful bride here and this background. And again, by itself, it was, by itself, it was lovely. And right from the beginning, I wanted to, it had kind of these spirals that are here coming out and it just reminded me of butterflies. And I couldn't, because of the process with journey by five and goes back and forth this was full firmly glued down so because Yvonne did it I couldn't do that and then just by sheer luck I was going through my stamps and masks and this was part of a garden um, steak and it had there's one full butterfly and I just used that and the other side to trace that and I used white paint and white gesso and it says and this was a saying that I loved your time as a caterpillar has expired your wings are ready and I just love it you know and I picked up the purple and the pink um, and the blue in in the wings that was already in the background this one. Yvonne put this here because this was here. Noah. Two by two going on Noah's Ark. So I had these birds and they're lovely birds and they're bright yellow so again it coordinates with this page. So I was responding to that. You want to keep it. Didn't know what I was going to do and then I came across this in a magazine. Buddy System. And I put some border stamps and some dots on there kind of darkened it around there and added it. Very, very simple um, page. Once I got the quote, it was very, very easy. This one. Um, Yvonne tends, I think, has a trip to Paris coming up in her future. Everything she buys, there's it always seems to be the Eiffel Tower in there and so this was a napkin that she had collaged in there and then the focal point of these two ladies having tea and I looked at this and I go oh too bad she put the Eiffel Tower on an angle and why couldn't it be straight because you know I'm the I'm a perfectionist and stuff and then I came up came up with a quote that I got in Pinterest when something goes wrong yell plot twist and move on and then to bring in the French say la vie that's life. So I added a few more. I had a few of these pinwheel stencils and I added more just to make it cohesive and a little bit of edging in gold. And I just love that because it looks like she's just going, you know, say la vie. You know, the Eiffel Tower is falling down. This was one of the first ones I did. And again, we have winery here and winery there and so there's wine a wine bottle and wine glass in here and I found the saying oh look it's wine o'clock and I thought okay that's hilarious and I used I had a brand new time stencil so I used that with modeling paste um, through my stencil that was colored with my Inktense blocks 
to get it that wine Shiraz Merlot color and how outlined it with my white gel pen you know and I love this page you know added a few more clocks in the background and it um, it really became special this was another one of those pages that was pretty much complete the way it was it had the tulips there it was beautiful um, but it had a lot of there was a circle here of pink it was a uh, paint colored um, coffee filter which adds beautiful texture to to your art journaling so I just took the colors that I had in there and went over that just so that the pink of the flowers could pop so that moved the background into the background then I use and I don't know if you can see my script stamp and I put rubbed gold acrylic paint on it so all that we have gold script on there that just adds that little bit of something something put the gold under the letters colored the letters and with this ribbon I painted it I wanted it a little bit darker it was very white and it just looked too stark on the page and I used my shelf liner when it was wet I just dipped it in there and had put the heat gun on it and you can see it it kept the texture of that so that's a quick easy way of adding texture to something this one with all my purples can you tell me which color I like purples and teals and blues and pinks um, it had all these watches on there so I thought okay it has to have a theme of time and I um, had a couple of favorite country songs that talk about time passing on and this one's a Kathy Matea song time passes by people pass on at the drop of the tear they're gone let's do what we dare do what we like and love while we're here before time passes on then the word love and I thought oh wouldn't that be cool if I put a heart here which was a brand new was grunge heart stencil that I got from crafters workshop so I did that and added it up here and it just you know it's so cool you know you go into this and you sit down and you start something and you get these ideas and it's like where did that come from on this one this took me some time the saying here says an eagle uses the negative energy of a storm to soar higher which is a fact they go above the storm and they they soar they get go higher up so I once I found that quote on Pinterest because I really had no idea what to do with an eagle it was a beautiful eagle beautifully fussy cut it out by Yvonne you know I had to do justice to it so I used my swirl stencil crafters workshop I think and use blues and purples in there to make it look like the storm and the eagle rising above it and then I splattered and darken the outside edges. I really like how that turned out. And the last one. And this one had a napkin down here. And again, there was just too much and there wasn't one focal point. And I've learned that I need to edit. Less is more in a lot of cases. So I used my black gesso that I had bought on sale because I don't buy stuff unless I get it on sale and I blacked out everything and then I found the saying some days you have to create your own sunshine this it just pops so this which was the cover of this one where I was fixing up the oops and I ended up painting it with black paint basically I ended up doing the same thing here because I learned that as a technique I highlighted it in gold painted the butterflies over with white gesso and then just made them kind of a burgundy color to coincide with the burgundy um, in the middle of, of the sunflowers I didn't shade them and I dotted it with gold around with my gold gel pen from the dollar store and that's 
it. So, you know, thank you for, for watching. Um, if you have any questions about any of these pages, the techniques I used, anything, uh, leave the comments and questions below. Um, subscribe to my channel. I do make a lot of videos that um, are for the beginner or they have some different ideas of things that I haven't seen necessarily on YouTube, although while I spend a lot of time on there, I don't, I haven't seen everything. Um, like my channel, subscribe, share it with your friends, and, um, you know, focus on your creative journey and enjoy it. Bye.